Welcome to Century Shoot Easy Wave product line of trash and linen shoot systems. The BiSorter Equipment Overview Training video demonstrates the main features and functions of sorter equipment and provides an overview of operating conditions. The purpose of adding sorter equipment is to separate different types of materials from a waste stream passing through a chute. Bisarter equipment is installed under the chute outlet and above waste containers. Internal to the sorter equipment, a diverter mechanism routes waste from the top inlet in two different directions. Controlling the diverter plate position separates the waste stream between the two outlets on the bottom of the chamber. The main body of the chute is constructed of steel with a powder coat finish. It is built to withstand impact forces from falling materials and to be corrosion resistant. The support legs are height adjustable to accommodate various trash compactors and waste containers. The two waste container areas under the sorter are referred to as side A and side B. Inside the sorter chamber, a hinged aluminum plate can move between a vertical or an angled position as part of the diverter mechanism. With the diverter in the vertical position, waste will fall into side A containers. Waste will fall into side B containers when the diverter is in the angled position. An access door is provided to view inside the sorter chamber and can be used to inspect equipment condition or to look for jammed material trapped inside the chute. When the door is open, equipment sensors provide a safety lockout signal to the control system. An electrical enclosure is mounted to the side of the sorter chamber. The AC power supply card, communication cables, and signal cables are all routed to internal connection points. The user interface panel is mounted on the front of the enclosure. It contains user input switches and displays system status messages. An e-stop switch is wired into a separate enclosure with a magnetic base. It can be mounted in any suitable location for personnel to quickly activate the emergency shutdown. Pressing the switch will cut electrical feed from the sorter to prevent the electric motor from operating. The switch is locked in the off position until it is released by twisting the switch button head. The main components inside the enclosure are a low voltage DC power supply, control system electronics, the diverter mechanism actuator motor, and position sensors. The BiSorter control system is comprised of multiple components, such as equipment sensors, electronic hardware, communication ports, a user interface, and software programming. As part of the BiSorter shoot system, the user interface panel at each intake door also contains multiple push-button switches to allow users to select the type of waste before opening an intake door. Intake doors are connected to the EasyWave base station controller. The base station performs all control functions related to the intake door operations, and the base station also operates as an interface to optional shoot system equipment. BiSorter equipment is connected into the shoot system through this interface function with a communication cable. The interconnections between intake doors, the base station controller and sorter equipment enable the control system to automatically operate sorter equipment in response to user input selections at each intake door. Sorter equipment sensors provide feedback to the control system about the operating state of the sorter. The control system response 
is determined by the state of the sensor signals. The access door sensor detects the position of the door latch. When the latch is open, the control system generates a safety message and locks out the chute system. The diverter mechanism position sensors detect when the plate is set up for side A, vertical position, or side B, angled position. When the control system drives the actuator motor, it uses the sensor states to determine diverter plate movement and position. Please note, the control system logic considers the diverter plate to be in position A, when the position A sensor is not covered by the metal flag of the actuator lever linkage. Optional cart sensors detect the presence of a cart and the status of the cart contents. When a cart full condition is detected, the control system will generate a cart full warning message. When a cart is removed or not present, the control system generates a cart warning message and locks out the chute system. Optional compactor full interface kits are used with trash compactor equipment instead of cart sensors. The interface kit detects a compactor full signal and generates a cart full sensor feedback signal for the sorter control system. When a compactor full signal is detected, the sorter control system responds in the same manner as a cart full condition. Users press and release the recycle button on the intake door user interface to open a door on a BICE or to shoot system for recycle materials. The base station controller operates in response to the input switch signals by using the communication connection with the sorter control system to set up the sorter equipment to receive the recycling materials. To open a door for non-recycle materials, press and release the user interface trash button. The chute system operates automatically and waste accumulates in each container until the cart sensors detect the cart full condition. By default, the control system will generate a cart full warning message and lock out the chute system until maintenance personnel replace the full container. Alternatively, when a cart full condition is detected, the control system will generate a cart full warning message, but diverts all waste to the garbage side instead of locking out the chute system. The choice between these two options is determined by configuration parameter settings within the control system setup. Service personnel can use the lockout toggle switch to place the by sorter control system in lockout mode. All intake doors are locked out in this mode to prevent users dropping waste into the chute at the same time service personnel are interacting with chute equipment. The by sorter lockout switch will also disable the Easy Wave trash chute system in the same manner as the lockout toggle switch on the bottom of the Easy Wave base station enclosure. All the same reasons and precautions associated with using the base station lockout switch also apply to using the by sorter lockout switch. After completing operations requiring chute lockout service mode, set the toggle switch back to the enabled position to restore normal intake door access. The control system is designed to automatically detect multiple fault conditions. In the event of a fault detection, intake doors are locked out and alarm messages are displayed on the user interface panel. 
The purpose of this response is to limit adverse actions and to guide personnel to the source of the problems. An alarm relay output is also provided as a flexible solution to help distribute the alarm signal to an extended area. Describing a complete list of alarm conditions is beyond the scope of this video, but alarm messages are described in more detail in the Bysarter user interface training video. This concludes our training video and thank you for choosing Century Shoot EasyWave product line of trash and linen shoot systems. Please refer to the Bysarter operating and installation instructions manual and the EasyWave shoot system operating instructions manual for additional information.